I got to hang with Dr. Jillian Johnson and Ashley Parker with Farmhouse Chiropractic again. And this time, I got to see them in action with horses. Why? Is this okay? This is fine. It's kind of, it's kind of sexy. Okay. Ashley's <laughs> <laughs> got her booty on. The right, exactly. Okay. While I was there, I decided to have them share a tip for all of us dog lovers. So, I'm back with Dr. Jillian and Ashley, and we're going to learn how to... What? Stretch your hind end of your dog and low back. I know you all love these two as much as I do, so I'm so excited to have yet another episode sharing more cool stuff. And there will be so much more in the future, so be sure to comment below with what you'd like to see, and then of course subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. So, when it comes to stretching your dog, what are some things that you might see in your dog where you're like, you know what, that dog needs to be stretched? Um, so we actually encourage stretching all the time. Oh. We don't want to wait till it's a problem, just like with people. Right. Um, most people do wait until they see things. So if you're waiting to see an issue, you're going to see a, like a roaching in the hind um, for a performance people. Like that's like that like a hunching yeah. like, position, um, short striding of of the hind end. You know, we're not going to have that nice fluid movement. Um, if you're a duck diver, they're not going to jump as far, stuff like that. So that's a lot less what, power there for those for those dogs. Okay. Yeah, it's really important to stretch because what power is is it's flexibility, right? And strength. And strength. So you have to have both. And what most people do is they just strength train their dogs, they jog their dogs, they run their dogs. But the missing component is that flexibility, so you get that increased stride. All right, well, cool. Let's learn. Yeah. All right. Who is our who is our who is our subject? We've got oh. Rue. She's oh. our two-year-old wire hair uh, Vizsla. Oh, Rue. Yay! Thanks, there's Rue. Rue. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Rue. All right, let's go do this. Cool. So Rue is actually a great demo dog because she is a dock diver and she runs around like crazy around the farm. So her low back is always tight. So we left that for you so you can see a little bit. So right here, she's a little bit increased right there, just nice and tight. So for a reference for you guys at home, a muscle should feel like a raw chicken breast, that nice squishy. Oh. Um, it shouldn't be hard. She's got a little hard right in here. You can feel your traps. They're probably just a little hard. That's what it feels like with a dog. All right, so what you want to do is actually take your inside hand, place it on the hip here. Take the other hand. We're going to place it on the knee, and I'm going to kind of put my body against her hips just to help with stability. So from there, I'm actually going to ask her to reach out. And I'm going to ask again, nice and gentle. There we go. She says, oh, okay, and she relaxed. She wasn't fighting me. At first, she was like, oh, that's a little tight. I don't want to do it like that. Whatever she gives you at first, that's what you want to do. Five, 10 seconds, but you can work up to 60 or 90 seconds with that stretch eventually. It's very nice. It's important to know that you should never stretch a dog that's cold. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be running around the yard, but you want to have good movement in there. Um, the more blood in the muscle, the better it's going to be. So 10 minutes of walking, get the muscle warmed up. You don't want to pull them out of a crate and then, and then stretch them. And then it was my turn to give it a go. <laughs> here. Yep. Grab a head, and hold of her hip there. Like this? So, nope. On her hip here. So this hand will be okay. up onto her hip. Oh. The other hand will be against the knee. Right here. Yep. Yep. And, and then, then you're going to gently ask her to take it back. It's not a chihuahua, is it, Jen? No, it's just like a lot bigger. There you go. Oh. See how she relaxed? Yeah. Yeah, when she relaxes, that means she's getting the good, full benefit of that. Oh, nice. That was a lot easier than I thought it yeah, would be. Not, and you have little tiny dogs. So I do. It would be perfect. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they have their own YouTube channel, and you need to go check it out for sure. Yay. Now. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to their YouTube channel for Farmhouse Chiropractic. And be sure to subscribe because it is chock full of more tips and techniques in helping your equine as well as your canine companions. Don't forget to visit the website, bestinshowbitch.com, where you can check out tons of merch. We got shirts and aprons and tumblers. So get your best in show bitch gear so we can start traveling to visit you all and create more bitch-tastic fun.